everybody, this is Miles Luigi. Welcome you back to Let's Play Mario Gifts Up 2. Uh, last time we basically met the devil himself known as the Neon Clat, and this time oh, we got a land of the dead. This time we're gonna go ahead and go to land I mean typing, I mean land of the <laughs> dead two. <laughs> fun fun time with me. Uh two, so I guess our co code it involves a five and it involves a two. So we're gonna go ahead and press X. Enter a level, and we are being told that big number two is a very important number. It is a number used to unlock the path to hell in order to save Princess Peach. Yeah, yeah, I know. Beat this level to get hints on secrets in the game. It will not be easy, though. So I guess that's all the same. So in the pipe, actually, before we go in the pipe, I noticed there is level... Oh, wow. End sphere? That's actually very... Not expected. Just throw an end sphere in there. <laughs> Maybe the left wasn't exitable? I don't think this is going to get me a, my code, by the way. <laughs> Instead, that is just going to... Well, I guess that was worth doing. That brought me all the way back to alternate universe. So, I don't feel like dealing with Luigi's problems quite yet. It appears his level is called Fusawa. So, I'm actually going to briefly go into hell, start select out of it. Uh... And we're going to go ahead and actually take care of typing of the dead two. I don't know why I like making that joke. <laughs> two, 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 two. You know the difference between your twos, right? You have a two, T-O, two, T-O-O, and two, T-W-O. And it appears our, ooh, a, oh, wow, a downward scrolling, auto-scrolling level. I mean, never mind that it's a water level, although rightfully so, because it's downward scrolling. But a downward scrolling, auto-scrolling level is rare in platform games, to tell you the truth. The only example that's coming up to my head is uh, Battletoads. Uh, Battletoads did it with the second level of the game, but I'm now trying to think if Mario ever actually does auto-scrolling downward scrolling. It doesn't even do auto-scrolling upward scrolling, which I want to say is a little bit more common, but I'm not even thinking of very many vertically orientated scrolling levels. Um, Super Mario World has a level where it auto-scrolls on a path, but never like directly up or directly down down. So, um, on a scale of 1 to 10 miles, Luigi, how much better is this level to the Nyan Cat level? 11. The scale doesn't go to 11. Make it go to 11. <laughs> Funny joke here, is if you have an amp that goes to 11, technically it's a scale of 1 to 11. I don't care what anyone else says. The idea is you're pushing past this. Let me know the scales to 1 to 11. So if you're an engineer, let me give you a great idea. Design a scale that goes to 12. Then you can market it. But it appears we have found ourselves zip file to password, which is K7 stiff. Um, it's a Vegas. 79 veg 8. Press X. So we're going to go ahead and figure out what this uh, secret is all about. I'm curious if it'll give us another YouTube link, which is very possible. Or it could uh, give us an entirely different hunt. Because last time it just gave us a YouTube link. I don't know if this is actually going to be a riddle of some kind, or... Uh, Luigi, you have to step once again into hell. Uh, let's go ahead and find out, shall we? Alright, we're back to doing another hint. This time I have arrow enabled during my recording, so I have no idea if this is going to come out super choppy or not, since I have arrow enabled. Anyway, 7 strip, 7 strip, wow, holy crowd, Miles Luigi. Quit mispronunciation every darn word in the English language. Alright, so our code... This time, why would I bring this over so we can all see it? Show password, if you remember correctly, it was 79 Vegas or Veg 8. It was probably random generator. It has nothing to do with Las Vegas. But go ahead, open up pin 2, and as I expected, it was another YouTube link. So I uh, have Firefox ready here in the background. Paste and go. Uh, normally I have something funny in the search bar. Why don't I put in something funny in the search bar? Um, There. Okay. Uh, Mario gives up to hint two. I want to actually watch the hint this time. Don't forget to play Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Ghost House. Oh! Bowser's Paw Factory. Okay, that's interesting. Also, because I have to. Oh, no top comments this time. Creepy. Clever. No. Oh. I suppose the first hint was all. Everyone's rage, and it's like, yeah, this hint. <laughs> Uh, too bad for you, your comments are hidden. Ha 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 ha. Sadly, I got nothing to comment, so um, no comments this time, everyone. Well, Mario, I guess you have to go back to Bowser's repurposed uh, ball factory for that secret, so yeah, here's another YouTube link. 
I'm not that I'm disappointed at all, but I actually think, isn't that the one in the cave? Yeah, the one here. It was, yeah, ghost, oh, well, that's literally the level, ghost host question mark. <laughs> like when I saw, like, it was like, ghost host question mark? Yeah, no, it's Belzer's repurposed ball factor. I'm surprised I actually didn't see that. Then again, it was pretty far out of the way, so. Yeah, let's go ahead and find our way to the secret. Well, doe, I got hit, but yeah, that wasn't necessarily the most well-hidden door in the game. Game, wow. Just one of those, wow, how did I miss that? Now, if this is anything like any other ghost house, I mean, it is Bowser's Ball Factor, it's not really a ghost house. We're actually gonna go ahead and fight a mini boss right here. This is when I meant to save states, or we're gonna appear right in the middle of the level. Now, that actually makes me really, really leery that the side path I took was for nothing. Ugh. Um, yeah, I definitely recognize this part of the level. And does it sound glitching? Curious about that. Let's just go ahead and beat the level. Yeah, I definitely recognize this part. This is like the musical bullet notes coming right out right after you. But yeah, this just looks like we fell right back in the level proper, and it's as if I did nothing correct. And hell, there's even the midway point now. Space time rewind, just because that was all just stupidity, and because I've already beaten this level already. This is yeah, this is that. All right, exit Mario. Apparently, I did something wrong. I did something wrong. Oh, Luigi, I have to send you into hell again. I'm so mean and nasty for even making you touch that level anymore, and that's like another time I let you touch that level. Oh, it's disgusting. Oh, I spawned at the midway point. Smart, Miles Luigi. Are you just going to space time rewind all the way back? And maybe I will. Ah! This is smooth. Like a smooth criminal. Okay, I think I've made that joke in a Mario Rum hack video before. It doesn't matter. Some people don't just watch Miles Luigi's videos religiously. Uh, you know, it's, that joke is for them. Alright, what exactly did I miss last time? Because I went to the door. Here's Ball Factory. Uh, there's a door. Fire Flower Power. Maybe what I need to use is a Fire Flower Power up up ahead? Um... The thing is, what's stopping you from bringing a fire flower to the level otherwise? Now I'm really, really, really confused. Hopefully I'm not really derping it here. <laughs> oh, man. The thing is, I don't want to go through that barrel segment again. I mean, unless you just keep going down through that path. The thing is, that was actually technically the second time I was down here. Yeah, it was. Like, unless I wasn't paying that close attention to the video, and it's like, there's a secret pipe, Miles, would you mind taking the secret pipe? Uh, can I rewatch the video? I'm gonna go rewatch that video. Maybe I'm not missing something. There was a comment on that video. <laughs> That somebody said, well, is this just for a bunch of power-ups? Alright, well, I'll play the game. I'll go through the level again, but I will absolutely positively keep the power-ups. And, of course, save to abuse my way to keep the power-ups. Because I must keep the... F Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> for those of you who wanted to see save state abusing, like, in the good olden days, well, here you go. Watch my quality of play drop significantly, as now death has little consequence. You're welcome. Oh, nicely done, Miles. Sweetie. No, there wasn't anything different at all. Blah, 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 blah. No secret exit. Okay. Well, if that's the case, then I guess my only lead at the moment is Fusoya. Fusoya. And you say, blue and red switches pressed? If not, you can proceed unless you use cheat codes. If you use them, I will throw bugs at you when you sleep. Are you talking about Moonstone? Oh wow, I don't have the red switch. Uh, Fusoya, which I think was the guy who made Lunar Magic, I guess we'll have to wait for another time. Actually, I do have another lead though. It is Star 2, so I'm wondering if this is the lead I'm supposed to pursue is Star 2. No, it's 
Oh yeah, that's right, that level had a secret exit. That just takes you to star two, doesn't it? I completely forgot that that level had a secret exit. Wow. <laughs> uh, thanks for reminding me that level has a secret exit. Okay, well, um, I'm out of leads then. Um, well, let's um, analyze my situation first. Before I say I'm out of leads, I don't know where to go. Uh, on our left side of the overworld, um, we got this secret exit. We got that secret exit. We went through hell, which was funny because that wasn't as difficult as uh, kind of sort of think. Uh, we went in the pipe, right? I, yeah, that takes, that's actually the exit to hell. Or, to hell! We haven't gotten the secret exit here, but you're seeing it looks like it just goes straight to the star, so in this sense, I don't even feel motivated to get that secret exit, but! For until I check in the cave, I currently have no leads, so actually, why don't we go ahead and try and see if we can solve the secret exit. Oh sweet, I have feathers. That's gonna help. And that's why capes are a wonderful thing. So you said earlier something along the lines of maybe I should bring a Yoshi. Oh gosh, why didn't I bring a Yoshi to the level? That was kind of foolish of me. Unless something can be done with these Koopa Troopas. Nah, they're flying too high up. But it's actually a decent idea if there's any Koopa Troopas to the right here who follow a similar pattern. You go back and forth, but you... Oh my gosh, okay, this might actually uh, work. Are you far enough down that this will work? Come over here, you are not far enough down. Aww. Darn, and there goes that idea. So unless there's another Koopa Troopa up ahead that is further down? Uh, the, damn it, there probably isn't. Um, it is worth noting <laughs> that there are all these flower things on the ground, so let me see if I can jump on them. No, I can't, they're just for decoration. Well, damn, okay. Uh, okay. Before I go on the secret exit again, because I'm going to go get Yoshi to figure out what I need to do with Yoshi, because it seems like that is the solution. I'm going to analyze my situation now. It's like, let's go back to the cave. The problem with the cave, actually, the problem with the cave is I was at Lavalicious. Oh, damn it, I went the wrong way, and I didn't have the correct Switch Palace press. Don't I have that Switch Palace press now? I, damn, I, I forgot. It's worth checking, though. It's worth checking, because then maybe I'll send Mario out to go get a Yoshi. But for it all, actually, no, we'll have... Whatever. Okay, so I do have that Switch Palace pressed. Okay. Oh, thank God, I'm not at a dead end. Alright, Luigi, go get a Yoshi. Mario, I guess we're going to do Lava Licious today. I completely forgot about Lava Licious. Well, Luigi has Yoshi in hand. Unfortunately, of course, it brought us back to Mario. So we'll go ahead and go into Lava Licious. A uh, very deadly, dangerous, dastardly level, as you can tell. Oh, wow. Oh, damn. Wow. You don't go down from fireballs, because you're probably immune to fire affinity. That'd be funny if everything in this level was actually immune to the fire affinity hell the lotus plants are. That's because I think they're naturally immune to fireballs, actually. But, just an interesting idea, you know, we're in a lava pit, everything's here is used to surviving next to brittling hot lava. And you know, of course, the air near lava is hot. You know that, right? Ah! Well, that could have ended really badly and hilariously. <laughs> It really oh damn 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 oh cipher why okay let's not refer to cipher okay why in the world is this level design like making me have to make life or death jumps like this so much gosh darn it's that's not good for my health who's romax not good for my health ah <laughs> well I remember back when I went to this level last I'm like can I sequence break this level and I brought a Yoshi. And I couldn't sequence break this level. Oh, yeah. Remember that? It's like, oh, good time, sequence break, and it's like, no. This ROM hack so far has actually been relatively anti sequence breakable, which is. eh, kinda sad. I mean, I don't necessarily want to just fall right into a sequence break at the same time. It's just novel. It adds replay value when you think, you know, I could use this power here or something like that to make my way around an obstacle in a way that I probably wasn't designed to. And so sweet, I can now play through the game without power up X. Also, I could really use that midway point. And, you know, then it becomes a challenge. Can I complete the rest of the game without power up X? And there's a pipe in there. Do I go to that pipe from here? No, I don't. That actually might be the exit variation of the pipe. Oh! That was actually a really badly timed jump. It's a really another life or death jump situation. Oh wow. Way to actually make the blarg something more than a nuisance. Also, I got black. Here we go. Oh gosh. Uh, just get 
Let the mushroom come to you, Miles Luigi. It will come to you. you ah! A poison mushroom. You think my natural instincts would have died by now, but I haven't unlearned them. For those of you who don't know, actually, <laughs> fun fact. Have you ever heard of Pavlov? Does that name ring a bell? Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. If it does... Well, bye-bye mushroom, bye-bye all power-ups! It, it almost seems redundant, but... All power-ups already annihilated. Do you think you could get through the rest of the game without power-up X when X is equal to mushroom? Yikes! Ooh, that could've been dangerous. Okay, life or death jump. Ah, life or death jump yet again. There is something up there. Let's not run into the poto ball. First up... Nah. It's probably a springboard, darn it. Well, there goes my P switch. On the bright side, I could always just load stage and I'd be good. Ooh, actually, that's mighty convenient. That let me stay on the upper path. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but hey, why not? Uh, we can go underneath the level, apparently, at that goal point and see what is up ahead here. So we're actually getting a preview here. I don't think this level had a secret exit, did it? No, it did not. Alrighty then, that takes us... Ugh, my super awesome happy. <laughs> None of this ROM hack has been Super Awesome Happy! Uh, on the bright side, a level called Super Awesome Happy, maybe maybe it's telling the truth. Maybe this level you know, will bring back to regular everyday Mario World difficulty, and the level will be Super Awesome Happy, and we'll all be just, you know, happy, everybody. Uh, to finish off, I'm gonna get this... Now, an immediate challenge I have right here is how do I get Yoshi through this? And the only thing I can, oh gosh, think of is I need to utilize all the, uh, <laughs> basically all the hitting hurt, <laughs> all the hurting hitboxes and jump off of them with Yoshi, which is pretty dastardly. Um, the thing is, I've died so many times with power-ups and whatnot, and then levels in which I eventually get through with power-ups, I shrieked in fear to think what would happen if I tried to get through this ROM hack, where theoretically, every time I died, I would either go back to go get power-ups, or I'd come back small. Like, in this level, I know I need Yoshi for the secret exit, of course. Um, I, uh, last time when I floated over, it's because I jumped at the very tail end of the vine. How did I not get buzzed? <laughs> Luigi's hat might have got damaged from that, though. But, uh, here we go. Okay, we're gonna go on this saw blade. Thank you. Try to get as much of an advantage as we possibly can. And go! Go! Our next saw blade right here, safely there. Ah, damn it. After I jump off that one, I'm... Woo, that was a close one. All right, one more good hop. Actually, let me just play it safe. One more good... Ah! All right, off the fuzzy to this saw blade. Oh. All right, we need to get really a nice height advantage here. So height advantage. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of in a loop here right now. Haha. <laughs> Alright, but I, I'm slowly moving up, actually, so I'm not going to stop holding the uh, the button here. Maybe I should. I don't feel like I'm going to loop anymore. Okay, go! Go, go! Yeah! Alright. We don't want to botch it now, so... Whoop! There we go. That was... Ah. <laughs> <sighs> the latter half of that level was more difficult. Alright. So on the next episode of Let's Play Mario Gives Up 2, uh, Super Awesome Happy is either going to be the world's best level, or it's actually going to be a lie and it's going to be totally terrorizing. I wouldn't be surprised if the level starts off with a cake, and it's like, yep, Super Awesome Happy, it's your birthday cake time, and it's like, nope, stolen. <sighs> well, this has been Miles Luigi. Let's hope we all become happy next time, because I've had it with becoming frustrated. <laughs> Ah. <sighs>